just told me to tell so you. Are you showing cars? Are you showing uh, motors? I said you were one as well. I and the technology of that. And what do you have over here? Oh, what we have here is uh, so if you the around, latest see, news that we have released called so the app developers. The developer.4.com, uh, well, uh, by which uh, we are uh, opening up our uh, API for the apps, um, and then uh, uh, all the app developers would be able to program their apps and make it work in the four vehicles. I can actually quickly show you a quick demo on how it works. Excuse me. So this is a smartphone where you have an app launched, and here I can show you one of the navigation apps that has been uh, working with Ford Sync. So this is a simulation of what you have in a car? This is a simulation of what we have in the car, and this is like a Ford display, one of the Ford displays in the car, and these are the manual controls in the car. And this app is called Scout App, which has been installed on the customer phone. And once the customer gets that app into the Ford vehicle, which has got mobile apps in it, you should be able to pair the phone to the sync so module, and after here, doing that, yes. you should be able to call All the app on the display here. here. And this is the Scout app. So, on so on once it is done, the app is going to get logged on the phone. So the customer doesn't have any access to the app on the phone anymore. So you can keep his eyes on the road and hands on the wheel and use voice controls to get access to the app. And with this app, I'm just quickly going to ask for any destination that I want like go to. One of them might be a coffee that you want to go to. So this is a voice button in the vehicle, which is, will be on the steering wheel. Okay. Press this voice button. Scout, please say a command. Coffee. And once you ask for coffee, for coffee, it goes out and starts searching for coffee around this location, and it comes back with the list of coffee places around you. One. Nice. Starbucks. And that's going through the phone. And that the search is happening through the phone. However, the phone display is connected to the vehicle display at this point. And you have got three three listings at a time, and it's going to ask you to choose one of the listings. And if that's not one of the listings you want to go to, you can say next to get to the next uh, set of three listings. So now three. So I chose three. And as long as the listing has a phone number in it, you would be able to actually say connect to where the it gets connected to the business. But now I'm going to choose to drive to that location. Drive to. And now when, when you say drive to, the whole route from where you are to that location has been downloaded on your SYNC module. And from this point onwards, it is going to give you the turn-by-turn -turn directions with the voice guidance. Nice. Yep. Uh, do you have some other demo here? Uh, the other demo I have is the SYNC services. Yeah. Uh, what are you showing over there? Over there, it's about the minority lifestyle. Uh, do you want to uh, do you want to talk to somebody else because somebody else can show you much better? Okay. okay. We'll go there and then we'll... This is the new 2013 Ford Escape. Okay. Same demo here. It's it's uh, just showing different different types of apps that we have already connected. And this is the new C-Max hybrid vehicle. Why are you showing your fridge? This is the My Energy Lifestyle. And this is... Uh, I will have you talk to the gentleman yeah. who would actually be going to explain you more on this. Give me one second. So, what is this? This is the uh, 2013 Ford Fusion Energy uh, plug-in hybrid. And this is demonstrating how that works? Yes, it gives you an it gives you an idea of what's going on under the hood as far as the components. All right, let's go over there. Okay. What are you talking about here? Here we have the this is the My Electric vehicle with My Ford Mobile. My Ford Mobile is our app. Uh, it's a web-based app where you can go on and uh, for your electric vehicles check out your charging check out your uh, where your vehicles located charging stations how you're driving how much energy you save by going electric so this would be a, this 
Yes, this is what's called a an EVSE, an electric vehicle. Um, Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Electronic. There's a connection. The, the, the to term they call it is the EVSE, and I'm drawing a blank on what it is and right it now. And it can charge with high uh, voltage. Electric vehicle service equipment. It, it can charge quickly. Yes, it's 240 volt. Charges at approximately 32 amps. You could charge your uh, fusion vehicle, uh, fusion plug-in, in, in uh, three to four oh, three to four hours. Nice. Oh, that's fast. 200, 240 volt system. And this is uh, showing how you can this, save money. This is part of the My Energy lifestyle. What we have is the combination of, uh, sorry. Yeah. What, what we have is now we have a common fuel between all this. We have cars that use electricity, along with now your home, everything in your home uses electricity. Because the idea is that the electric cars perhaps charge at the right time and also put the energy back in home. No. 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 It's a separate entity. What what it is that common fuel is electricity. And what we're showing here is you can change your uh, energy efficiency. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm having a hard time. I'm drawing a blank right at the moment. You could, you could uh, be more efficient with your power with, for example, the fridge. Yes. And you could yes. use solar. Yes, what, if you want, I'll back up. I'll, I'll yeah. tell you all about this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, my energy lifestyle. What we did is a partnership with Whirlpool, Nest, Infineon, SunPower, Eaton, along with Georgia Tech. And what we're showing is now that where our, our electric vehicles along with the home we're using that same common fuel called electricity and what we we showed we did a a, uh, a research project where what we did is we took the average american home of being 1700 square feet it uses a 10 year old appliances we bring in new appliances we bring in um, thermostats that are smart we bring in solar panels you utilize time of use rates or time of day rates and what you do is you ship how you utilize your energy. You use the best time, the uh, best rates you get are at night. So now you do your dishwasher at night. You do your defrosting. You do your uh, making ice at nighttime. So now your energy usage is when the cost is lowest. You charge your vehicle at night. Then during the day, you utilize your solar energy that when you're not home, you sell it back to your utility. No, this isn't about getting electric cars in the market. It's now that electric cars are in the market. We're all using that same fuel. We got to figure out a way to be more efficient with it. And by just showing this in our research project, you can reduce your whole energy usage by 60%. You can reduce your carbon footprint by over 8,000 kilograms. You're 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 doing better for the environment. Peut-être en apprendre à se connaître. Je me révèle petit à petit. Et parfois ce n'est pas à mon, à mon avantage, certes. Mais j'aime trop dans un sens sortir ou avoir ma propre vie, ma propre indépendance.